Hello, my name is Molly Urban. I oversee leadership development. And today I wanted to share another perspective on leadership. Culture is a big topic in the corporate community. Are you helping or hurting your organization's culture? An organization's culture can determine how efficiently and effectively tasks get done. It can also make people feel included in the overall group or excluded, leaving some feeling like they just don't belong. I was talking with an executive about a recent job change she had made. She was feeling very unwelcome and regretted her decision. She shared how one of the things that was mentioned by many of the team members during the interview process was how everyone at the organization felt like a family. That was very appealing to her and one of the reasons she made the change. However, it didn't take long for her to realize that what was common about many of those team members was their fixed mindset. When she would offer new and innovative ideas, they resisted her and started to push her out of the communication chain. She said she felt like a fish swimming upstream. She hit the nail on the head because culture is the momentum of an organization's mindset. Humans naturally sync up their brainwaves to other humans. The syncing up of brainwaves is what people are referring to when they speak of momentum. Another word to describe a group of people who sync to the same brainwave is family. We often look at the effects of culture to measure it. It's high energy, it's trustworthy, it's frugal. But the cause of the organization's mindset can be determined by one of four levels or a blend of levels, depending on the brainwave people are syncing at. First is dysregulation. This is when intimidation and fear tactics are used to keep the team in check. This is a destructive mindset. Next is regulation. This is where some groups are given control over others, and those that lack control will put up with it because they believe that one day they will be in control and get to do their plan. Fraternities often operate this way. This is a fixed group mindset. Self-regulation is the next level and uses internal competition to stimulate innovation. It appears to value growth and innovation, however, a truly revolutionary idea is often overlooked because it doesn't seem to fit with the current objectives. This is a context group mindset. The final level is flow. This is a truly growth-oriented group mindset. The team members are interdependent and value the uniqueness of each person. And as an effect, creative and innovative ideas will naturally flow. Leaders value uniqueness and inspire interdependence. They facilitate the momentum of a growth mindset between all their team members. Bosses are controlling and stifle innovation. They force the momentum of a fixed mindset and resist anyone swimming upstream. So are you a leader or a boss by how you facilitate your team's group mindset? Thank you for letting me share my leadership thought. Have a great week.